Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to link Printify to Squarespace website in 2024. So today, we're diving into the realm of print on demand, specifically how to link Printify to Squarespace. By integrating Printify, you can effortlessly create and sell custom designs products without managing inventory. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step guide or process to do so. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, if you don't have a Printify account, you'll have to do go and create a new one. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the URL section, type here Printify, so sorry, Printify, dot com and hit the enter so and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of printify right away of course if you have an account you'll be able to log in into your account for me i'm already logged in but for you you'll be able to at the top right corner here you'll find the login option click on it to log in into your account if you don't have an account you'll be able to click on start for free to create a new account of course if you don't know nothing about printify you can scroll down to read more information is about us and as you can see connect your store you'll be able to connect your squarespace store so it's available option and of course you can see what people saying about us and a lot of other information that you may want to know you will have to do the same with squarespace so go to a new tab go and type squarespace.com log in into your account if you have one if you don't you'll have to go and create one you'll have to do the same scroll down if you don't know nothing about it to read more information about it see the frequently asked questions and here also you can post the video if you have one of those questions i'll just open the answers post the video for you to check the answer if you are interested for me i'll just go here and click on account dashboard to access my dashboard of my squarespace website right away so here as an example on printify i can simply go and click on my store and this uh, will take me to my store so okay i'm not connected that's also cool i can as you can see connect with my google account if i don't want to get through all the board steps of creating or even connecting to my account i can even create an account using google if i want to so as you can see in here this is going to be basically my dashboard with the product that i have in here of course i can go and create or add a lot of other products make sure to do so because this will open a lot of options for your customers if a customer has a lot of options that means the products of course will attract their attention to uh, check the product that they may need maybe you can do add add variations for the colors for i don't know the sizes of course this is very important and a lot of other stuff that you can do of course here if you go to the top left corner and click on my new store you can simply go and add a new store so basically you can start the connection or the linking from Printify to Squarespace, from Printify, or even from Squarespace, whatever you want. So if you want to start from Printify, just go to my new store here, click on add a new store, and basically from here, you will have to go and look for Squarespace. As you can see, you'll find this right here, or even if you scroll down, maybe you'll find it here. I don't know, so it seems like it's not down here, but as you can see, it's right here. So simply go and click on Squarespace, and as you can see, this will open a pop-out for you. So you'll have to select the sites because I'm already logged in. I didn't have to log in again. But for you, if you're not logged in yet, basically just go and log in into your account again and then choose the store that you want to, of course, connect this site or this Printify into. Like an example, I'll just choose this one. And as you can see, to connect Printify, you'll have to allow all those permissions like view inventory stocks level, uh, view inventory stocks level also. I don't know why it's repeated, but it's fine. Update inventory stock level view products and associated store page information create updates and delete products products variants and products images view order and fulfillment orders uh, informations of course view customer information's name email address and more create and update and delete order and fulfillment information view order and fulfillment information view customer information address email name and more if you agree to all of that just click on allow if you don't click on cancel but with that you'll not be able to link those two of course, that, as I said, if you want to start from Printify, if you want to do it with Squarespace, it's going to be the same process. So you'll have to go choose the store that you want to connect to. As example, I'll just choose the same store, then go to this left panel, select settings right here, and then go to simply this third party tool. Then go here to extensions. And as simple as that, you'll find right yourself here. So go to search here and type Printify. So Printify, as simple as that. 
and then as you can see you'll find it right here just simply go and click on that you'll be able to see how it's going to look like and etc you'll be able to see the key features about additional information country and languages and supports of websites external supports privacy policy and terms and conditions you can even see some related extensions if you want to like get one of those so simply if you agree just or if you want to just go and click on connect as simple as that and it will take you to Printify. And of course, you'll have to connect to Squarespace. So you'll have to give your store a name. For me, I'll just tape like, uh, I don't know, like it says travel. I, I'll just have this random name out of nowhere and click on connect. And as you can see, you'll have to do the same. You'll have to agree to all of that. Click on allow and you will be good to go without any problems. As you can see, congrats, you are connected to a Squarespace store. Check out this article to see how you can start selling. As you can see, if you want to, of course, it's not necessary because it's very easy to do. It's basically, you'll have to, let's read the headlines. You'll have to choose the product to sell, upload your design, and then place and position your design, choose the color and sizes. And as an example, after that, add this your product details and prices and publish and uh, the product to your store. And yeah, basically it's. That's basically it. So of course, you can even submit a request if you have one of a uh, lot of questions that maybe it's not answered here. Of course, as you can see, congrats, as we said before. So now everything is connected. Of course, I can disconnect it whenever I want. Now we can add those products. For example, go to selling, go to product, and you'll be able to add those products, as example, to your store right here from Printify. Of course, if I go here to Printify, go to the dashboard also again, and simply just uh, refresh. I guess, as you can see, yeah, as you can see, this store is already connected in here also. If I go and click on that, I'll be able to click on browse products and add whatever product I want into this uh, site, or into my Squarespace site, of course. I'll simply have to choose like this product as an example, why not? And simply I'll have to go and add the design to it. So let's see if the product fits, uh, fits my need. And of course, it should be in the niche that you choose you would like to have. You can choose the side guide. You can see the key features about. You'll be able to see everything about it and even some related product like it. So you can see the pricing with the product, if it's better for this one, if it's not better. So go and see whatever you want. As you can see, this bestseller, make sure to choose bestseller if you're going to uh, upload them right away because this bestseller like gets out of stock right uh, so fast. So just keep that in mind. Now, you'll be able to, as I said before, to add products. So let's say, as an example, I'll just add some random stuff. Let's just go and choose this one, start designing. And as an example, I'll just go and click on, uh, I don't know, just add on my device or just custom text. I'll just type T, save products. Why not? And let's say this is the products I want to add. So simply go and click on publish and it's added right away. If I go now to test travel as an example and go to product, I'll find this right there. Of course, you can even allow some automated order routine if you want to. And if I go here back here and click on refresh, I'll basically find this in products. If you didn't find it, just wait a bit. Yeah, as you can see, it's already there. You can change the name of it, the whatever you want of it. And if you go to your website, you will definitely find it there as you can see. So this is it, as you can see, it's very simple. So this is gonna be it for me today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.